Lunch break. My phone apparently turned off and wouldn't connect to the camera, and then also the network didn't want to work, but whatever. Hello everybody! Welcome to another edition of Lunch Break! <laughs> I'm your host, Christian Knight, and those of you who are watching on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Twitch, I'm going to set the camera back down over here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. And it's always towards the, the, the part of the live that you always do. Um that it always gets interrupted. You know. I don't know what it is. Like legit it, it makes no sense whatsoever. But um thank you those who are tuning in and starting to watch. Hopefully <sighs> the connection's still messing up. Is it, it really is it really messing up? You can't tell over here. on my side um, um, but thank you for coming hey Jay I'll see you on there <laughs> Jay's is now on uh, Twitch right now um, I have no idea what's going on um, the uh, uh, camera turned my phone off don't even know how um, but um, then the network started acting up, and it's still acting up because uh, I still see it like turning over here. Oh look, the Instagram turned off. It literally has turned off. So I guess my network is still... My, is my network still not working? Is that what it is? My network is still all, all jacked up? Shit, is my network still jacked up, James? Can you guys see the, 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 the feed or is it still like cut up? I can't tell from this side. I'm, I'm watching the return uh, on Facebook, seeing if uh, the connection is down, but I guess there won't be an Instagram day. But you guys are here, so that's what matters. Let's just get the, the roll popping. And those who are on Twitch, thank you for coming back on Twitch to, to watch the show. Um, you know, we'll just have to like uh, go on with the show, right? Uh, hopefully I can save this video later uh, when, I, when I edit it. Um, Cause it does seem like it's still okay. Ah, oh, thank you, it's okay. Okay, good, thank you. I guess, I don't know what's going on. The network finally fixed itself or it's not fixed itself, but whatever. We're not here to find that out. We're not here to dilly lag. You guys came on here to watch Lunch Break, which we're bringing you today. <laughs> um, episode 96, legit, 96 now, right? Um, season 4, episode 17, and I can watch the, the messages here now too. Um, by the way, I, I'll, I'll call you afterwards to tell you about something that, that happened to me yesterday. Um, but yeah, I, I'll tell you about that later. Uh, that's the, the main reason why I don't have the, uh, the screen on this side anymore. But um, we'll t I'll tell you about that later. Anyway, so we're making Korean ground beef rice bowls. Say that 10 times fast. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not going to try it. So, yeah, so it's today is season four, episode 18 in the books ready. We do about 26 episodes per season, and we're almost at the end of it, people. We're almost at the end already. So, I wanted to bring you today a dish that no, um, brings us some morph in our heart only because of the fact that it's getting cold outside. Like, legit, it's getting cold outside. And you know what happens during that time? You have to start ordering deliveries and start, you know, Going to restaurants, it's takeout. Because actually, technically, you can only do that at the moment. You can't really dine in because of things that are going on right now. But um, I, I greatly appreciate you guys for coming here on lunch break and watching the show. Um, once again, I want to like to thank not only you guys, but everyone out there who's keeping safe. Um, all the people who are in the delivery services, everybody who's in the medical field, everybody who's in any type of whatever it is. Listen, y'all keeping safe. I'm not trying to single no one out. I'm not trying to be preferences to anybody specifically. I'm just saying thank you for keeping safe. And so in this way, we can still see you in the next day and tomorrow. Okay. 
Hey Sam, what up? <laughs> oh shoot, I don't even have to look at the, the return over here. I just look at my phone now. <laughs> like look, 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 I'm gonna show you guys. I know you guys on Twitch can't see it, but see look, that's the phone now, see? I can see you guys right there. You see the return? The return is right over here now. So I know those on, on Twitch can't really see that. I, I do apologize, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Samantha just say hey you um but definitely you guys um so I want to bring you a dish that's really sweet and savory um and the knowledge base on this put the knowledge drop down here um will surprise you you know because I was like I, I tried looking up the origins of this but the reason why the origins of this is is, is weird is because it came from a different dish so this dish, the ground beef rice bowl, is actually um, a twist or substitution for steak. You know, it actually was the dish that used to be used in Korean barbecue. So Korean barbecue is what manifested this dish, this recipe for Korean ground beef. And it was basically created for those who wanted the same variety and taste from Korean barbecue but without the guilty pleasures of eating it too, eating too much fat, um, and from eating too much red meat. So instead, what they ended up doing is that they used and incorporated ground beef, um, So it, because it's kind of leaner meat and type of thing when they do ground beef, so this is the reason why they did that. I'm here for some food. <laughs> We're gonna get to that. We're gonna make some food today. Um, so Korean barbecue is one of the popular many um, uh, methods of Korean cuisine. And I kind of put the, the, the thing on the wrong side of grilling meat, uh, typically done with either beef, pork, and chicken. No, like doing you guys. Um, and the dishes are often uh, done in like a, a grill or a charcoal grill. And sometimes when um, in restaurants where they don't have that, they actually give a built-in grill for diner uh, dining tables in itself. You know, that's what they put in, you know, it's almost like a, a, a hot pot in a sense, you know. So they give them like a portable grill type of thing so they can heat up their food and stuff. Uh, but from this Korean barbecue, it created such dishes like bulgogi. And, and I do apologize right, if I say these names wrong. Um, bulgogi, was, which is made of thin marinated slices of beef or pork or chicken. Um, and the dish is actually uh, known as fire meat as well. So can't pronounce bogo, bogoji, um, you can say fire meat. So, um, another dish that came out of this is called galbi, which is actually the Korean word for rib. So you already know what it is. It's, it's a dish that was created with short ribs. That's where that one came from. And then there's also one more called jumeliuk, uh, which is short steaks marinated uh, with sesame oil. Jesus Christ, I try to say all those names same time fast. I can't. But yes, so... Oh, did, we, did I lose you guys? Uh oh. What just happened? Did I lose you guys already? Did I just lose you guys? I just, I just saw the return and I can't see you guys over here. Hopefully I didn't lose you guys. Uh oh. Hold on. Did I just lose you guys? Let me just refresh my return. <laughs> hey, Kasim, what up? So, did I lose you guys or is my uh, thing just bugging out over here? Because if, if this thing is bugging out, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to pay attention to the phone over here. Um, because I don't see to see the view now. Yeah, it's not returning it. Uh, let me know if you guys are able to see me. I can't tell. Oh, yeah, no. I am bugging out. So this is bugging out. Um, yeah, because... Uh, I just saw on the other side the G's are hard in Bulgogi. <laughs> Listen, that's because we're old. Uh, I know it's gonna be a corny joke, but that's because we're old, old G's, right? No, no, it doesn't fly. Okay, <laughs> I'll stop. I won't do it. <laughs> um, so I gotta figure out um, this thing now because um, it, it keeps stopping. But I'm gonna just pay attention to um, the phone, which has the messages now. So I'll just be able to pay attention to that. At least I can see the messages. But yeah, so that's everything in a nutshell, as uh, James would say, drunk history of how Korean ground beef came into, into being. Um, so with that, let's get it on. 
I know, right? It sounds like I was doing about to do a song and then I can stop midway. <laughs> um, so, mind you, just keep in mind, and I gotta let you guys know, um, the recipe we're doing, hey, Juicy! Um, the recipe that we are doing today uh, may not actually work for you in the workplace, because um, we're still doing um, special episodes, top of his dishes uh, here on Lunch Break, especially during the, the quarantine that we're doing right now. So, but, if you do want to know, listen, I will break it down for you uh, in a sense so this way you can accomplish it. You might have to mix something pre-hand and, and all together before you make the dish and then take it with you. <laughs> James like, what? <laughs> listen, because you always say that this is drunk history, so I'm just taking, I'm going to take that notation and say it. So, without further ado, let me wash my hands. Get the ground beef and get this party rolling because you guys came to watch food and not me to talk. So, okay. So let me get let me get that done. All right. And actually, the first thing we're gonna do because you always know that something always takes time, more longer time to make. Um, we're siding this with some jasmine white rice or no jasmine brown rice. Sorry, that's what we're doing. All right. So let me get the rice. And I'm gonna put you guys down this way. You can see it. Right, you guys can see it. You guys can see it. So what I did here is I already pre-washed the rice. As you guys can see here, the uh, jazz. Oh, it smells good. By the way, uh, I cleaned this and then I actually poured in about two quarter cups, or just like half a cup, right? That's a half a cup. A half a cup of olive oil into this to let it just sit in the meantime before I put in the water. Now the reason why I do that is that I wanted actual rice to kind of like blend a little bit together with the um, uh, the oil and everything and I use olive oil by the way I won't show you which one but it's olive oil um, you guys can see it right you guys can see that yeah. um so yeah so then now I'm gonna take I put in here about a cup and a half of rice which is gonna be paired with two cups of water you always want to go a little bit extra of water for your rice so in this way it can come out nice and fluffy Spoon, mix that all in. There you go. Alright. Don't you just like doing this process like this? Okay. And then we're just gonna set it into our rice cooker for about 20 minutes by itself and set it and forget it right top of the oven. So now, that's all set done, turn your oven to medium heat, and then we can start preparing the meat. I know, right? I shouldn't say that. That sounds so weird. <laughs> I can't say those words like that. That's messed up. It's a family show. Alright, so, we're going to get our ground beef. And we're using a uh, ground beef that's about 83% uh, lean. As you can see, we have, <coughs> we have, as a certain company says, the meat. You guys already know how the commercial goes. All right, let's set that down there. Because the first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna add in about half a cup of olive oil into this. Uh, that it? Yes, all right. Here's the half a cup. Half cup olive oil into our mix, All right? We don't leave no oil left behind. Take all the oil out of the cup. Let that start to cook. All right. And then we're gonna add in our ground beef. So we're gonna cook up the ground beef a little bit first. You guys back up in my face. Um, we're, gonna cook, uh, we're gonna cook up the ground beef a little bit first uh, before we start adding ingredients. And now, when I start saying what ingredients we're gonna add, just know to get your pens ready to go. Don't forget that, okay? Maybe I should go get my pen. Why am I gonna go get my pen? Right? That's just <laughs> Alright, so let me set you guys down over here. 
Ooh, it said a nice little purple one, but that was great. Alright. Now, I'm gonna take our ground beef that has been defrosting for like about I'm gonna say like four or five hours, I think. I think I took this out at 12. Um, and then we're gonna place this slowly in here without letting it burn and pop. Alright. Then what I'm gonna do is use my trusted spoon here. Ooh, you see that? To separate it a little bit. See, I'm still a little frozen on the inside, but it's okay. We'll take care of that. We'll take care of that in a second. All right. And then what we're gonna do is clean up this little splash that happened here. Uh, there we go. Because we don't want that splash to become grease hot. All right. Then I'm gonna put the lid on. And let that start to cook. Now, mind you, remember. To make sure you have this on medium to high heat because you don't want to cook all the meat um, as of yet fully um, yet until you add in some of these ingredients, okay? So that's what we're going to start doing on there. So just keep in mind, um, when you're doing the Korean ground beef, uh, I know that's shaking, um, you want to make sure that you're putting your heat on medium to high, not high yet, um, just on this way at the bottom and, and anything if it hasn't defrosted fully. Um, starts to at least melt so this way you can start crumbling them up and then once they start crumbling up we'll start adding the ingredients and as you know oh yeah because that's what we do that's what we do okay so put you guys back over here for you guys I'm gonna go this way for one second and I'll be back get the uh, other um, antenna for the, uh, the return computer uh, so this way I can see. Alright, so let's start opening this up. So we can start smashing. Now with this, you are going to see it turn brown. <laughs> Not with uh, ground beef. You can't expect ground beef, uh, ground beef, ground turkey to turn brown. That's not going to happen. Alright. So all we're doing here is making sure that the pieces that um oh sorry that the pieces that were not fully defrosted end up cooking with all the meat. Or the ground beef, I should say, that's in here. Alright. And then closing it up creates a nice inversion. Inversion cooking. Wow. Alright, so now, let's refresh this. Because now we should be able to have good connection. There it is, see? Oh, so now I know. It was weird, the connection with the Wi Fi antenna on the laptop in notebook. So I had to put the actual antenna antenna on yeah, to give it a nice little boost. So now we're good. Now I don't have to worry about if I'm not being on air with you guys. But, you know what So, we're gonna spin this on one more time. Oh, and as you see, the juices from the ground beef is starting to come out. Which is a good thing. Because we're gonna need that for when we start adding the ingredients. Come on, 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 come on,
Put yourself in. Come on. Go. <laughs> like I'm, I'm giving the uh, the food a pep talk. <laughs> this is crazy, right? Come on, food. You can do it. You can make yourself. Come on. All right. So now, in the meantime, now we allow this to cook a little bit more. I'm gonna put you guys back in my face because I like you guys in my face, face, and you guys too. Um, a little bit of shout outs today. So we're gonna give out some birthday shout outs to you guys so you guys can know. I'm um, sorry if I don't have anybody else's birthday, no one tells me. If you tell me ahead of time, at least especially if it's in the same week that I'm producing the live show, I will put you guys in the show. Don't forget that. So, mind you, on this side, you will see my social medias. I know you guys can't see it right now because it's invisible, but I can see them. They're right here. Um, so, yeah. I want to give out some birthday shout outs to my cousin Alexis, whose birthday was last Friday. Um, to Ricardo Lopez, whose birthday was last Friday as well. Um, I know we gave him a shout out during the, uh, the live show, um, so just wanted to give you guys a shout out. Um, it also was Mercedes birthday. So happy birthday Mercedes, last Saturday. Her birthday was last Saturday, so happy birthday to you. And then this week, this week, big shout out to Jessica, whose birthday was on Monday. Yes, we celebrate everybody's birthday. Your birthday was on Monday. And then, uh oh, Doobie's mom, Jackie, yes, Jackie, her birthday was this Tuesday, so happy birthday, Jackie. Um, from here, from lunch break, we definitely want to give you a shout out. Um, and then there's some birthdays coming out on the weekend, yes, because today is only Friday. So, let's give a birthday shout out to Nico, whose birthday is tomorrow. Hope you celebrate it big and bold and as big as you want, even with the stuff that's going on and trying to do whatever. Um, and Yento. Yentu's birthday is coming up on Sunday, so happy birthday, Yentu! Ooh, yeah! I already know what you're gonna be doing. Actually, I don't. Tell me, please. I don't know what you're gonna be doing. <laughs> I want for. Wait, I want one for mine? But wait, what do you want? You can't have me. You gotta tell that to Melissa. That's bad. <laughs> I don't know why this talk is falling. Alright, let's look at this. Ooh, it's starting to bubble. Alright, let's open this up. You already know what happens when it starts to bubble. That means it's fully cooking. All right, there you go. See, oh, now it's coming. It's coming off. Yeah, it's coming off, babe. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put you right in the middle with your brothers and sisters. That's bad, considering them as they. I want a birthday shout out for my birthday. <laughs> okay, well, listen. Wait, but your birthday passed already, didn't it? Alright, we'll give you a birthday shout out anyway. Happy birthday to Sam! Samantha! There you go. You gave you a birthday shout out. I'll put it over here in the editor version. <laughs> oh man. Alright, this is starting out good. Alright, so we only got a little bit more left to do on this. And then we will start to put in our ingredients. Oh man. But yeah, so um I don't know if there's anybody's anniversary. This week or um, next week, or coming up on the weekend, but happy anniversary to those. Oh, actually, wait. Um, shoot, if I can remember, I don't know if baby's on. Um, she knows uh, uh, somebody just got married recently. I'm trying to remember where it was. I can't remember names. I'm bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Congratulations to your marriage. <laughs> Once I figure out the names. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. Uh, next year on. Okay, yeah, definitely. We're gonna give a shout out for all those who I write down the names. I gotta remember. Make sure it's in my calendar. I, I think I have you on my calendar. Um, but uh, yeah. So I can't remember. I know I put it over here. Once once I have it, I can't. I, baby's not on yet <laughs> for her to tell me. But congratulations on your marriage. All right. This is oh, it is done. There you go. Last one bit of dust. All right, all right, people, ladies and gentlemen, move your pants down. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Grab those pants. It is time. All right, because this is already going, and it's singing, and it's time. It's time for food. All right. So now, the first thing you're going to need, grab those pants, is three garlic cloves, minced, minced. Three garlic cloves, minced. So there you go. That's the first thing you need is three garlic cloves minced. That's the first thing you're gonna add into this mixture. And 
And as we say here, no left behind. Get over there. Get over there. Become part of the meal. All right. One up. Now, the next thing you're going to add into this is half, a quarter cup, quarter, quarter cup of brown sugar. There's a brown sugar. There's a quarter cup. As you see, it says measuring. Quarter cup right there. Quarter cup. Which a quarter cup is basically two ounces. So we're going to mix in the two ounces of sugar, brown sugar, into this. And we're going to mix it before we start adding the rest of the stuff. Because we want it to start mixing. We don't want to just leave it on top and don't do that with it. So we're going to mix that in with the garlic, the minced garlic that we just put in. And then we're going to continue. All right, so the next thing, make sure you mix this thoroughly. Okay, so the next thing you're going to add into this is a quarter cup of soy sauce. Here's your quarter cup of soy sauce. You mix that in too. Quarter cup, remember, it's two ounces. Quarter cup of soy sauce. Writing this down, right? That's ready to do that, right? Right? Mix that in. Mm. Oh, I can smell the flavors of this already. Oh, 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 this is going to be dangerous. Alright, so the next thing you're going to need to add is a quarter cup, imagine most of these are all quarter cups, a quarter cup of ground ginger. So here's our quarter cup of ground ginger that's going in. I like mixing it all together. I don't like just putting it just in the middle. Because it makes no sense. Like, let's spread the love. You want to spread the love? Let's spread the love. Ooh, love. Ooh. Oh, love. Oh, I can smell the Korean barbecue. This is the groundwork of what it takes to make it look. Look how it's grating though, look. Look at the consistency of this, look. You guys seen this? Oh, you got dull. You are seeing this. All right, now, <clears throat> the next part, you can put a little bit less. I didn't put a lot because, holy crap, that's gonna kill me, but I guess this is how it's made. But the next ingredient you're gonna add into this is red pepper flakes, crushed red pepper flakes. I'm only adding less than a quarter, uh, less than a quarter into this, which is I don't even know. I don't think it has a measurement over here. I, oh, it's like one eighth. So less than one eighth, like literally. That, like that's how much I'm putting because this thing is hot. Okay. So mix that in there. Make sure you spread the love. Don't leave it in one side, please. Especially for those who don't want to die. <laughs> there we go. All right, and at this point. Um, put down to low heat, to medium heat because everything is going to start to cook really fast and then as you can see it's going to start to turn into like a creamy consistency so you won't, you don't want to burn by mistake right so the next thing you're going to add into this is a quarter cup of black pepper quarter cup as we did with the other ones spread it along blah, 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 blah. and then mix that in too I guess all of these is what gives the uh, the colors to this Korean ground beef recipe. Wow, look at that, yo! Look, look how this is turning with each addition of the ingredient, yo! It is crazy looking. Like, are you guys seeing it? Well, why do I keep saying that? You guys are seeing this. All right. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna add into this is um, green onions. So sliced green onions is gonna. The last thing you're gonna add into this. There you go. That's all you have to add into this to the end is green onion. Oh my god, look at oh my god. Yo, can you wait, can you guys see this? Of course you guys can see this. Why did you see this? Oh my god. There's something wrong with me. Alright, so now at this point, what you wanna do, see when you added all that, is put this all the way to low now. Literally, all the way to low. Because you want this to cook up thoroughly. Oh my god, look at the color. Oh my god, look at this. Can you see this? Why do I keep saying that? There's <laughs> something wrong with me. I think it's because I'm so amazed at how this looks right now. Now, the final portion of this, which you would need, I'm just gonna close this up for a little bit, let that cook up for a few minutes. Um, the last thing you need on this is just sesame seeds. Now, you can put a little bit, you can put a lot. It's basically just for a garnish. 
Um, you don't have to do a quarter cup of this. Like legit, you don't have to. There's, there's, there's nothing that says you have to. There's nothing on even on the recipe that says to put in a quarter cup of sesame seed. It just says to use as garnish. So I'm not gonna put this on here until I probably take it out. Or maybe I will. I don't know. It depends on how I feel. Um, but yeah, so that's all you have to do. So make sure you have it on low. Um, so this way everything inside starts to simmer. Just remember keep an eye on it as you're cooking because you don't want it to burn. Now mind you, you did put in brown sugar in this. So brown sugar does burn fast and turns into molasses. Which this is where the texture of it started drying up all that um, liquid from the actual grease that came out of the ground beef. And it just... if I show you right now look at that look 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 you see that this might send people to the bathroom I think only because if I push this all the way look look at all that hold on I'm gonna try to get it for you guys so you guys can see it Do you see that craziness? That's from all the mixtures of the oil put together. I'm gonna come to you guys in the Instagram. I'm not even you guys behind. Look at that. Look at that craziness. Yo, what the hell? Look at that. 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 So we're gonna let this simmer and cook. Then we're gonna look to see if the rice is done. And at the same time, while we let the simmer, you already know what it calls time for. It's time to make that phone call to our next guest on lunch break. To our, our first guest on lunch break, I should say, right? Not next guest. Soon, welcome person to the to the call to the to the live show. Because <laughs> Vanessa doesn't like Phil. She don't like Nick Phil. Um, let me push this forward. Let you guys closer. And then we are going to call the sous chef. Let's see if we can bring the sous chef live onto the call. If he's not busy, it's darling. It is darling. Will he pick up? I don't know, peoples. He might be busy. If not, we will call the wife. Oh, he picked up. Hey, welcome everybody to the show, Dummy. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can't hear you. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, oh. Your 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 video is going in and out. Yeah, you should be able to use those headphones. So there you go. We got the sous chef on the call right now. He's getting some headphones so he can talk to you guys and hear you guys as we present to him and show him what we are making today. Because I think he's going to be surprised. Yo, look at the color of this. I, I gotta bring this close to you guys so you guys can see it. And I, I, you know what? Let me let me get a flashlight closer. That'll be you guys can, 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 can see the envisionary of, of what I'm looking at. Come here. Alright, what you making? What you making, Sam? Hold on, hold on. Do you not see this? Look at that craziness. Look at that craziness. Can you guys see? I'm gonna bring it so close. To the point that I'm gonna burn myself. Okay, we are making, sir, today on uh, lunch break, which I should put you guys like the video. Yes. We are making Korean ground beef rice balls. Korean ground beef. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see if you pick up that way instead for now. Oh man, I'm still watching. Is there only one person watching? Is that just me? It's okay. Rice is almost done. Oh, I can't pick it up? Try 
the new goal. Let's get it. Oh, shoot, it's 444. Make a wish, everybody. How are you calling me if I'm calling you? <laughs> God. Hold on. <laughs> He's trying to call me and I'm trying to call him. <laughs> this doesn't get. <laughs> Stop calling me! I'm calling you! Hello? Shit! Sorry about that, guys. I need to curse. He's trying to call me and I was trying to call him. Oh, there you go. That's going through. Maybe we got it right this time. There you go. <laughs> you were trying to call me and I was calling you. We were knocking each other out. I was calling you back, right? So empty. I was calling you. I don't get this connection. Uh oh. Wait, turn your Wi-Fi on. Are we good now? Are we good now? Uh, kind of. Turn, turn your Wi-Fi on. No, but I'm never... Turn your Wi-Fi on. I think it's still frozen. Connecting video is, is trying to... <laughs> oh, um, hold on. Turn your Wi-Fi on. Oh, I'm gonna get it. I think it might be my connection. Uh, it might be my connection. It might be just me. But <clears throat> as we uh, try to get somebody on, um, this is actually done. As you can see here. Oh, that's the rice. That's the rice. Let me put you guys down this way. So this is already done. This is the Korean ground beef. As you can see here, look at that. Oh my god, the carby cake. Mmm. Look at all that grease though. Can you see the bottom of this? Look at all that grease. That came out of this. Alright, so that's done. Um oh, the rice just finished. That's what was the quick thing. Yeah, I just heard that. Um I'm gonna try it one more time. Now we're gonna dial our horoi. There you go. That was easy. Yes, you got it. Hey! Woo! All right, all right. All right. Now we got the sushi chef on. <laughs> now we got. Wait, did you get my message saying turn the Wi-Fi on? Oh. Say it again. I hear you. Did, did you get my message saying to turn the Wi-Fi on? Oh! What? Also, maybe the Wi-Fi is not working. Okay. Well, I had the Wi-Fi on in the beginning, and I thought that was the problem. Was the Wi-Fi, but now it's working good. Gotcha. Um, we're making Korean ground beef oh, rice bowls. <laughs> he spoke too soon. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Say it again. We're making Korean. I think Alright, so so just take the Wi-Fi off then. <laughs> we try. We try. We try. <laughs> oh man. Nope, we're gonna lose it in a second. Anything will go wrong here. That is true. That is very true. Try signing in. You messing around, what you you messing around and getting me on the <laughs> you gonna burn him. I'm not even doing that! I'm just waiting for you! <laughs> Dude, go go oh no you, there's no camera on it. I was, I was gonna say go go on the Go on the laptop. 
It can't be that way. Go, go on the laptop. Sign it to the laptop and call me from there. You want it? It beeps sometimes. Call me back on the laptop. Call me back on the laptop. Ali is gonna get the message. Let's see if I can just leave the voice message. Oh my god, look at those missed, those missed calls. Sign in on into the laptop and call me back from the laptop. It might be my connection though. It might be, it might be. Alright, let's try, let's try Melissa. See if it does the same thing. I don't know if she'll pick up. I don't know if she's on the road or she's busy. Um, we will die her. And if not, we will start putting this stuff together so this way you guys can see. So. Oh, swag. I think it is my phone. Hold on. You know what? It might be me. Might be me. Let me just restart over here. Give me one second, people. I'll be right back. <sighs> Technical difficulties, but hey, as long as we're still streaming, we're okay. But the wife is trying to call me back now. Give you, you know, I'm trying to get the, the thing back on. Hold on. There we go. Alright. Bring us. Give us a knock. Oh, there you go. What's up? Welcome to Let's Break. <laughs> I had to restart the, the phone call thing because I was with DV, but it was going in and out, so I think um, I forgot to restart, so now it's working. But everybody, thank you. welcome Melissa to, to, to the live. Um, we're making Korean, wait, why are you there? We're making Korean ground beef rice bowls. Look at, look at that. So you're going in style. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, but that's what we're making. The rice is finished. We're about to flick this together. And I see that you're still on your way here. So hopefully I'll see you before the end of the show because we started late. Uh, we were having technical, we were having a, a few technical issues in the beginning. So um, hopefully by the time you get here, we'll still be on. Okay? Might not be because you know how the parking situation is over here. I'm just yeah, saying. it is. It's true. The parking is bad. That is very true. But um. All right, so hit us up. We've only been on for 47 minutes, so you're still good. All right, so we'll hit you when you come in. Thank you for being on the live. Here's the wife. Here's the wife. Hello, Michael Ballroom. I'll hit you back. All right, so now let's try Doobie one more time. <laughs> that sounds like a, like, <laughs> like a song. Doobie one more time. No. I do it. Come on, you can do it, man. You can do it. Come on, you got this. Come on, you got this. Everybody's waiting for you. There you go. Yo, I got this laptop in my hand. I got the phone in my hand. Dude, I'm trying to do everything. Dude, I, I had to reset. I had to reset the tablet because I think the tablet was was not working. Oh, okay, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, because look, now you're working fine. Like you're working on. See, look, everybody. Yes. Do it. Yo, <laughs> Listen, I, I kind of figured it, it was a tablet only because I was having issues in the beginning with the connection. Oh, okay. So I was like, cool, 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 shit, because cool. I had to reset the, the return, which, there's the return now. Ah, uh, okay, cool. There's the phone, cool. there's the camera, and there's everybody right. on Twitch and Instagram. Who's, who's, who's the people on? Uh, James is on uh, Twitch also. Uh, I'm not sure who's, I don't know who's on Facebook. And then we have Mike, we have Michael's Ballroom on Instagram. Okay, what up? Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
So, now that everybody's here, I'm gonna put you guys down. Right. There you go. We, go. we are making and have made Korean barbecue, a Korean ground beef rice bowl. Why I kept saying barbecue? You said rice bowls? Yes, Korean ground beef rice bowls. Bowl, 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 okay. not okay. bowls. I'm about to say, I'm getting off of this one. Wait, 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 what? You're not, what? No, you're not doing none of that. Come back next Friday. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. James said, do me. Look, on Facebook. <laughs> what up, James? What's going on? Oh, dang it. Rice bowls, man. Bowls. Like, rice bowl, rice bowl. Bowls. Rice bowl, rice bowl. <laughs> it doesn't, it's not good when I'm going like this because it looks like something else. <laughs> oh, Michelle, I'm sorry. Michelle, I can't, this, I am sorry, I can't see the small little lettering. Like, literally, I gotta squint to get all the way up to here. Um, correction, it's Michelle's ballroom, okay? Michelle's ballroom? Yes. So I'm gonna retype okay. that, put it on the edited version, Michelle's ballroom. Go to yeah, Instagram. Go to Instagram for that. Shout out to that. Um, Instagram, Twitch, Facebook. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm a stuff YouTube, Instagram, <laughs> everywhere, we're everywhere. Everywhere. So, yeah, I'll, I'll put the, the I'll put the, uh, the the social media over here. Well, away from Ruben's face or Doobie's face. <laughs> okay. The whole planet is all here. <laughs> it is. They all with us. They so, all with us. This is what we're making. Let me get grab one of these containers. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the other shoe? Where's the other shoe chef at? Where's Melissa? She's still on her way. She, she's oh, on here. Okay. She's still on here. Shout out to Oh, oh so it's like it's like Michelle Bold. Am I saying that right? Michelle Bold. I don't want to say the wrong thing. You B know I can't see you from there. It's B O W L E S. B O W L E S. Yeah, Michelle Bold. Okay. There you go, Michelle Bold. See? We're getting, we're, we're, getting, we're getting proper spending for people, okay? Because I don't want to, I don't want to uh, disrespect people's names. I don't. If, if you tell me how to pronounce it, I will do that. So here's the Korean ground beef without the rice. This is how it looks. As everybody wants okay. to see, I'm gonna show you guys right there. And you can show you guys on Twitch. Show you guys on Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks good, but why, why is it called, why is it called Korean? Right, so. Beef? Is, it, is it the meat different? Whoa. Balls. Whoa, what? I said, I said, I said, well. So, this. Why else we can ask that question? <laughs> that is true, see, that is true. So, this was an actual twist and substitution for actual steak from the actual, oh. um, Recipe or or dish that uses Korean barbecue. Okay, so it's really the it's the barbecue sauce that's the Korean stuff. Right. So basically, what what ended up happening is that um, when people didn't want to use steak, they needed something to substitute it, and they used uh, ground beef because it was a much leaner cut and clean of of basically of beef. Okay. So okay. they Makes made sense. their own version of Korean barbecue with all the same ingredients and taste. Just with ground beef. Oh, just with ground beef, not the steak. Right. So, and they, they, there's your drunk history once again. So, um, let me put you guys this, down. This, and this, this comes straight from Korea, right? Uh, that one I don't know. It didn't really tell me the origins. It just okay. said that it was a, um, a substitution and a twist to Korean barbecue. All right. Okay. So, I'm gonna put this to the side. And you guys are gonna see me plate this wonderful dish. It, it looks pretty good though. So we got a nice clean plate right here. I wish I, I, wish I could smell the aroma of it. Sure. Put it close to the screen, maybe it, maybe, the, I, maybe I can smell it. <laughs> here, smell a vision. <laughs> smell a vision. 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 The smell of issues. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so right let, let's do our presentation. So we're gonna okay. grab. <clears throat> you, gotta make, you gotta make a look magazine ready. We're gonna just mix the rice over here. All. The cookbook is coming soon, right? I'm working on it. As, as 
as slow as I can. I just said that so the people can hear that it's on its way. Alright, so we're gonna put in the rice. Mm -hmm. Now, is it, is it okay if you mix the. Let's say you wanted to mix the rice in it. You can. And that would be cool too. That's right. Listen, at the end of the day, no lie, I'm gonna put you guys so you guys can see both Doobie and me. Um, at the end of the day, you gotta realize when you make these dishes, they're for you to eat yourself. So you can make it. You can make it however way you want. You know, you can omit things if you're not into. Say you don't want to use green onion. You don't have to add it. You know, it, it may not taste the same way that it's supposed to for the recipe. Right. But that's what I was thinking. The, you know, the authenticity of it. You also don't want to end up killing yourself if, God forbid, you're allergic to ginger. That's also correct. You know what I mean? So you can't add ginger if you're allergic to it. You know what I mean? So. It, it is tailored to you however way you want. You look at the recipe and you can substitute or omit whatever you want. Don't you know, don't do it because it says it, it just do it because that's what you're gonna eat. You know. Gotcha, gotcha. Because even right, when you one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Um this is off the topic. Shout out to the Christian Night Stove. That is some dope that's a dope ass stove, bro. It's <laughs> <laughs> super dope, yo. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's it's Melissa's stove, not mine. I just share it. <laughs> I just I just share it. <laughs> All right. Yes, it is. It's, it, it's it's a learning process to learn how to use it, but it yeah, definitely is nice. I can imagine. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. All right, so we got our rice already plated. You can see the rice, right? All right, good. Um, I'm yeah, gonna take some of the ground beef, Korean ground beef. And just place it on the side like so. Mm. Oh my god. That looks really good right now, though. Yo, the smell of it is crazy. And I, I haven't eaten all day, so. <laughs> oh, damn. Now, 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 mind you, you think this is finished? It's not. It's not, okay? Well, we so, the last part of this, which I was saying in the beginning, if you guys. Grab a pen again. I'm gonna name. I'm gonna name every single ingredient. And I want to put you guys back up this way, because you guys don't have to look at the food for this part. So, mind you, grab a pen. The first thing you're gonna need is ground beef. That's the first thing. The next thing is three garlic cloves minced. Okay. A quarter cup of brown sugar. Oh, brown sugar. All right. That's what. That's what gave the color. That's, that's what gave the color. color. Okay. Okay. Because you know brown sugar turns into molasses or any type of sugar. Um, then you're gonna need half a cup of soy sauce. You can use low sodium, reduced sodium, oh, up to you. Right. Doesn't really matter as long as it's soy sauce. The, okay. the next thing you're gonna need is a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. Holy okay. crap. Ground ginger, you can buy that straight from the supermarket? Yes you can. And I just realized okay. Those things said teaspoons. Oh, you only put one? No. <laughs> my, my boy, my boy, my boy, look. I use this for every single thing. That's not a spoon. It's a quarter cup. So okay, I did it. So. I did a quarter cup of ground ginger in this. And a quarter cup of crushed red peppers. <laughs> No, it doesn't. It says teaspoon. <laughs> so you made your own thing up, dog. Holy shit. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Isn't that what we do on lunch break anyway? That is true. It's our thing, right? Yep. So then, so, uh, ground ginger, and then quarter teaspoon of crushed red peppers, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, which okay. I, I used a quarter cup, <clears throat> and then um, rice, which any rice you want to do. Um, <laughs> And then uh, green onions, half a half. Oh, you can do a cup of green onions if you want. The last thing okay. you gotta do on this, I'm gonna put you guys down so you see it, right? You see the, the ball, right? The last thing you need to add to this for garnish is sesame seeds. Sesame seeds? Oh, That's I it. Thought that. All you need is sesame seeds. So I'm gonna sprinkle. The and that doesn't go on the rice, that goes on the, uh, the ground beef portion. Yeah, it, it comes right afterwards. So then, once you look oh, at it... it looks nice, it looks nice, huh? It 
does look nice in there with, with the sesame seeds. There you go. So, bring you guys up close. I'm going to show you guys on Twitch. Show you guys on, on Instagram. And I'm going to grab the Facebook so you guys can see it up close and personal. Yeah. Let's go. There's no way you're not going to get full off that. There's no way. Oh, hell no. And there'll be probably no seconds or thirds on this. If it if, if lasts that long. <laughs> if it lasts that long. <laughs> right, that's hey, Crystal! My niece Crystal's on. Um, so there you go. So that's you have it. So now we have made our Korean ground beef rice bowls. I know it's not in a bowl, but <laughs> you can put it in a bowl. Um, and then you go ham and eat. True, true. I, I don't know. It kind of like looks much better this way. I kind of like it like that too. I kind of like that. Yes. Yeah. So like a nice no little presentation. No phone required, ladies nope. and gentlemen. No phone. No phone required. Nope. Or these plates. That's true. <laughs> so there you have it, everybody. Um, thank you once again for joining us on lunch break. Um, don't forget to catch uh, the director's cut on Twitch later on tonight. Um, episode uh, three, we'll be doing later. I, I'm not streaming it to any other platform, so just go to Twitch if you want to see it. Uh, we'll be uh, da- doing a director's com- uh, director's commentary of episode three for season four. Um, and then, y'all want to go, go to that? That's real. It's, the commentary is really, really good. Y'all need to go to that. And then also, don't forget to visit our social media, which I'm going to try to place over here and not in front of Dewey's face. So, <laughs> on the edited version. Um, and thank you once again, everybody, everyone. Thank you for joining our live. Don't forget to visit IMDB, uh, which I also be showing you guys later again. Um, and look up the word or the title, Lunch Break. Rate us anything you want, good, bad, doesn't matter. Because you know what? We love all the criticism, regardless. Yes. All so, the feedback as well. Yes, because we like to tailor this show according to what you like and hear and bring you food. This delicious because this is gonna be going in my belly um, to your guys' homes. So I greatly appreciate you guys on that. So don't forget to like, comment, and share the entire thing. And if you're watching right now and you want to see air episodes that are previously haven't been done on air as of yet on TV, go to the YouTube page. They will be on there. Or watch previously aired episodes. I know it doesn't look good because I look weird and and one night we were babies, but. Definitely go to our YouTube page and watch anything there. Don't worry about it. Just go to the YouTube watch. <laughs> so thank you once again, everybody, for joining us. And as, I, as we say here on lunch break, don't settle for less and make it your best. There you go. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye. Peace, y'all. Peace, y'all.